Chemistry, teaching classes from 9 to 12. And now I'm working with DPS Pune. This was my first attempt for Senta TPO. And in fact, for the first time, I also attempted Senta TQ, which was the round one. So let me share that actually in my first attempt for Senta TQ, I got the Senta badge, but my score was 50 to 100. And uh, I was not very happy about it. So I, for, I had reappeared in Senta TQ after three months for the track that is my senior secondary chemistry track. And this time I could score 73. And eventually I appeared in Senta TPO, which was slightly a different, you know, a di differently designed exam. I really enjoyed appearing in that exam and I was eagerly waiting for the result and to my surprise I could qualify it that too with the uh, second rank in my subject track and the national rank 26 so it was a surprise it was an achievement and it was a moment of pride not only for me but also for my family and also for my organization I was quite appreciated and acknowledged in my organization and for which I am really, really grateful to them. When it comes to teaching, so since I've been teaching since past 25 plus years and I have taught almost all the boards, including uh, the international boards like IB and Cambridge. But then I realized that my competency is much better after appearing or preparing for Santa exam. So I realized that delivering the subject content is not all about teaching. It is also about how do you communicate, how do you design the assessment processes and then how do you interact with the parents for the, for the improvement of the child. So talking nicely, talking politely, this was you know my uh, way of dealing with children and their parents. But then I realized that many a times one has to be very clear, very assertive and very, very unambiguous in the communication. So when I was at preparing for the exam, I was going through the questions. I really realized that, you know, there was something which was lacking. So I was polite, I was diplomatic, but then probably my communications were lacking certain elements, which I am better as of now. Definitely, I would advise everyone who has a flair of teaching to go for Santa TPO exam because it will widen their horizon and also make them understand the, uh, the technicalities and the you know, nitty gritty of teaching. Now, as a person, I, am, I have multiple interests, I must say. So I read, I write. I sing, I dance, I'm an alternative healer and I'm also a trained yoga trainer. So I keep engaged, I keep myself engaged in you know various activities, I, I keep on learning, I never stop learning because as you say that you know the 21st century learner has to be a lifelong learner. Also I'm always willing to unlearn and I'm always ready to learn and I hope I think that that has kept me going uh, into this teaching profession when it comes to teaching I believe that understanding and respecting the diversity in the human intellect diversity in the interest diversity in their background and diversity in the ways they learn is very important and when we incorporate all these into our planning and into our uh, implement and implement them in our teaching, teaching becomes much better and efficient. So I'm extremely grateful to Santa team and to my school for you know for giving me this opportunity to learn, to test myself, and to be happy about my performance. Thank you, Santa.